Hey guys, this is DFD, aka Dark Frozen Deaths, back with another Kami Human Project video. Now, if you're looking at why I got so many Star Coins and Magic Jewels, it's because I took advantage of some of the holiday deals. So that really helped out on that aspect. But, um, anyways, you guys should know what time it is, because it's always that time of year. There's the miracle ticket, so. That said, I know who I'm going to get, but it depends on if I get her. So, starting off, let's go here, and I'm immediately pulling for this stuff. But we're going to check and see if I manage to get her, if I do, so be it. If not, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I've always been having so many dud pools with that. But, um, anyways, let's go back to Gotcha. Now then, there's an add one boost to Gotcha for all the 120% add ones. I think they may have. No, I don't think they got their buff yet. But I am gonna try. Two half prices and two of these. So that's what's going to happen with this. Oh, this pool looks basic. We'll see. The last one I do believe is a guaranteed SR. Call me Hime Weapon. Funny, I had two archers. Okay, so let's try this again. Yeah, my luck's been kind of over the past few gotchas. That's. And guess the bounce is out. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, it has been pretty bad, but, um, well, there's the two half price pulls. This is how you know you really can budget your coins. No one's paying attention, so if somebody new popped up, then I don't know. Yeah, that was a basic pull. My luck seems to be crap this time. Okay, about time I got something. <sighs> Again? Okay, at least you're new. Huh, I never had that version of Cirs. Okay, I got a new light girl, apparently. Oh, but we're not done yet. I should be able to pull... One daily reduced on you. That didn't do anything. Do I get it reduced? Nope. Okay, so time to blow some magic jewels because I kind of do want um, Christmas soul if I can get her. This is the last time I'm going to try for her though. If I don't get her, they're still set.
Wow, my pool luck is just horrid. Well, let's mix it up with a 300 this time. Nope. And back to the last 3,000. I'm not going to add up how many pools this is until after I make this video, so... Holy crap, I'm still not getting anything. And I don't have anything else to really boost that, so that's that. Okay, so that was a lot of pools. I couldn't really get too much of anything. Sometimes it's like that, I guess. I could, granted, go for another one of these, but the cheaper pools is better, because instead of dropping 300, I'll drop 120. It'll just take a few days to go through all of that. But, um... Yeah, they didn't give me her, so I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. So now I have to go into my item list. Now, if I really wanted to, I could just go into add dawns and stuff. Could get the missing Kaiser and go upgrade the one I had. But that's not what I'm after. Now, as I remember, there was... If I really wanted to, I can go get a Kamihime weapon I already got and try and get a boost on there. Okay, yeah. This is the first they go for um, the Kamihimi, so let's work our way back. She's got the a new ability called Pressure, which will drain orbs over time, so it's like two turns of free orbs off the um, enemies. I remember she's very good for Dark, and then her weapon happens to be the highest. I've actually added it up among some stuff, but this is the highest base stat weapon for Dark. This one's, um, Fire Frey. She's extremely good. I think Frigg was another very good one for Wind. I heard Duel is pretty good for Thunder. I have Iris. I love her. Vaughn's pretty good for Fire. Celine's not good for Dark. Mam is good for Fire. I'm not sure about Minerva. I think she was a good one. There's your Mirror. I don't know how good she is. She's pretty good alongside somebody else. Wakashimi is a very good water one. There's um, Light Athena. I know she's practically the only light tank right now. I'm waiting until I see somebody else. All 40s, I managed to pull bad luck. So, Thunder Healer. Very good fire buffer. I forgot what she does. She's very good for um, Pride Base Zone. Um, setups, especially since she has a special ability that boosts her um, output a lot better. This is who I'm going after. I'm getting Take. But a lot of these previous ones you might have seen before. But yeah, I'm going to exchange for Take. Just up my light grid more. Well, light team more. As much as I did want other characters, it's just, I'm already so close to clearing out all the white girls, I might as well. So, let's go check out what this weapon does, too. And I'm definitely going to need more gems. I'll cover that in a second, because I got a few runs for that. But, let's go check out what this weapon does. Yes, I still have the fire bows from the one Union event. I have no idea what I'm going to do with those. 
I have no idea what I'm going to do with a lot of these weapons. I'm just more or less holding on to them. So this is Assault and Stinger. But later on, I do believe it gets stronger. And it'd be the same case with this one. That elaborate would actually help out a little bit. Because of ability damage characters. Speaking of which... Now that I have her... This is why she's very, very good. Because... This can get her a lot of very powerful stuff if you use um, the quote-unquote equip swords. Now... You get three from this one, and you also start out to fight with three. This will use one for extra damage, which makes her nuke exceedingly powerful. Then this is a heal HP to herself, puts stealth on so she gets targeted less, and if she has a sword to burn, all of her um, damage that she takes is cut once. Now this is where she can get pretty deadly, especially, especially in the um, dark fights. Guaranteed triple. For three turns. That alone is insanely good. But how about a guaranteed crit when she burns a sword? Yeah. And the interesting thing is, too, because of how it works at the start of the fight, using her sword... Sword gain ability, this will end up making her have five swords altogether. So she can even burn these two in order to have another three, but if she wants, but that's just how it is. It'll be five swords altogether. Now, I need to see what this one does because I never got her apparently. Okay, damage up when dazzle can activate burst if there's no dazzling enemy. She is a weird one. She's so determined to put dizzy. Because that's what dazzle pretty much is. But she's so determined to put dizzy. But the interesting thing is her one skill can instantly fill up her burst if there's no enemy that's dizzied. Um, what? Not to mention, if there's a dizzy enemy, then they'll be attracted to hit her more, but her evasion rate's also up. She's a weird one. Eh, just how it is. Christ, I did all those pulls and I didn't get crap. Oh boy, that hurts. I feel like the one um person on my Discord that mentioned something like that. That is a very high amount of pulls and I still only got like basically one SSR. I am in a bit of a drought right now. But um anyways, that's all for this. More of this is gonna come soon, especially since I'm gonna start using Take Mi Nikata or something. In fact, I feel lazy. I'm gonna end up getting her to four stars and then immediately, immediately using one of those um those high power elixirs in order to shoot her up to like level 75 or so. But um Anyways, that's all for this. More just going to come soon, and take care.